Bum, bum, bum. That would be really risky to do. Which I'm most likely just focus all my efforts on Gris right now. Because of how cluttered this so, space is. Vale, where's my reward? Reward? The real Lady Vale promised me all the agony my heart could want. I was really looking forward to it. The cold, the severity. But in the end, nothing. Not even a scratch. That Vale? She's gone now. Yeah, because you killed her. So you can't be all bad. Now, you tell me. How are you going to do it? Kill me, I mean. I'll never forgive you, Gris. But I never hated you. At least from the start, I think I understand why you were with the Hounds. Why you're you, but I'm not cool. None of this will be... a reward. My turn. Who understands anything that? in this <clears throat> half-baked storyline? I just want to see how much this does for future reference. It's pretty much a lot. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. I could probably finish off your HP bar. put you here just so I can put someone else oh what I should have done I could reset I could have maybe put you Naka where Mavier was will you live live yeah it's actually a wait whoops I'm pretty sure you Naka can probably oh, I have to do the veil attack again too honestly Try this. Okay, no, Yunaka can't even reach that spot, which is unfortunate. I'll help that. Next one's mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, still killed him. That's all that matters. At least got one HP bar. Gauge plus. I also want to do this just to, like, try it. Dragon's Fist. Eternal. Yeah, I'm here. Sort of a little If user defeats foe in player phase, fills adjacent allies engage me by one. Magical attack wielded by emblem Alir. Oh, Dragon Fist. So it's an art. Wait. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. Oh, goodbye. I'm here. All these chain attacks. Exquisite. Oh yeah. Mortal wounds. The really good ones. Can't say no to any of that. Oh, I got Nova. Let's go. Extremely potent tome. If user initiates combat, attacks twice. Oh, it's one of those tomes. Actually, it might be worth it. I'm going to just slap it on Ivy for now. 
All right. This is where things get interesting. I think I put a Leer here. And I engage with Marth. Maybe even use Lodestar Rush. Which isn't going to kill. I mean, like, once we... Once we route Zephyr and Surrounder, we should be able to kill her very easily, especially with like Fagato and Celine and etc. My dear sweet divine dragon, we've been through a lot together, haven't we? Zephyr, you must have known who I was a thousand years ago. Yes, I believe we met, but the details are hazy. Lord Sombron had so many children, you see. A bug would have had more luck getting my attention. Oh. Am I that forgettable? Oh, not at all. You're the divine dragon now. But in due time, you'll be me. One tends to lose count of the lives that pass by. You'll understand one day. I will never be like you. <laughs> well, it barely matters anyway. You aren't leaving this place. You're going to die right now. Fate has brought us here. Oh, how I miss using this. Alright. So a veil here? That's like basically suicide there. Who is this? This is Andreo, Chloe, and Lucina. Yeah. Allow me to demonstrate. Can keep going. You can just kill your fear, might as well. Will it be me or you who dies here, I wonder? <laughs> Remember this. Unfortunately, Fogado doesn't get in our turn here, but I could put Celine here. Excalibur does a lot. Let me have Pondreo here if I need. Let's just hope you miss. It's a 27% chance. Oh, a pretty good chance of missing. Celine and you can finish off one of her HP bars. My turn. Do you mind it? Correct. If this love is a crime. <laughs> Woman with the horns is a terrible character. Oh, Zephia. All the hounds, like the hounds are not really interesting villains. <laughs> I could care less about the hounds. And now, might as well engage because we're so close to the end of this. Then Pondreo can I'll help. Uh, heal up Marin. Oh, it did a lot. We're most certainly gonna. Where's a Leer? Oh, Leer's right there. <laughs> Wait, can I? I finish you off with Tiki. You know, I can't even do a... I can't do, like, a breath attack. Setup doesn't work. I could give a... Oh, I know this works. I can... I can Elfire here? Elwyn just kills you. Never mind. Don't think that deep, Nova. Just kill her. 
My turn. The next one's mine. You're quite strong. All right. Lord Sombron. No. Thank you for the SP. Typically, we got her sword from that. Okay, it just breaks. I was worried I would have to like walk up to it we and break it. it. We broke the fell dragon shard. Yeah, but there's still like two more. Yo, Sling and Sigur for the MVP. Let's go. Save up. Yeah, none of the hounds are really interesting at the end of the day. <laughs> I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombron. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing before I go. You won't be able to break the next fell dragon shard. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult, and then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others, but I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains, or drain the lake. Please, take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you. I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... Difficult to control. I would control them in time. But not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close. I'm feeling that it's just... The right thing to do. They realize they didn't make their villains interesting, so they're doing this now. Is basically what Zephyr's dialogue resorts to here. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! If only this game had any kind of build-up whatsoever to villains or characters and storyline or lore, then this would make me care! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. I can be kind just this once because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this 
happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. Sephia, I... I don't understand you. Who does, to be honest? Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <laughs> Let's go, Vale. Yes, go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sephia. Thank you for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. It's become a catchphrase at this point. If only I cared. <laughs> what a giant waste of time. This game's villains, like, they, they blow. They, they're, they're not interesting. This game's, like, story is... It, it, everything about the story, like, and the way they use the characters, or lack of how they use the characters, is... Hell of a time to so half baked sides. and you know. My word, I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once in a lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery. Not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead. <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come you told him about the shard? Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted <sighs> just like that? Does that seem fair? <laughs> Now that they know about the shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. Huh? The four hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Chris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. 
I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted. Staring me in the face all the while. You guys are morons. If only I had realized. But no. It's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I thank you. Zephia, you drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Ah, goodbye. Could not Nothing care less. Hurts me anymore. Okay then. Well, I would have turned on Lord Sombron. Wow, this uh, this game is a real big fan of trying to have these emotional moments, but the impact's just not there because of the lack of any kind of buildup. Anyway, the villains in this game blow, <laughs> and they they need to be great, but it kind of it kind of comes down to the story being. Nothing. I don't even want to say it's nonsense. I just want to say it's very non-existent and half big. Is what it comes down to. Oh my word. Hmm. So many of these scenes that are attempting to be like all emotional, like oh this character's dying, the whole veil and the leer thing. I'm just like stone faced through everything. This game did not make me. This game had so much time. To make me care about anything happening. In it. And I'm like, I'm coming up do on 50 again? hours and I do not care about anything happening. And I haven't cared about anything happening in the story. 